There we go. All right, so our first exercise, starting with a P, is going to be push-ups. So you're going to start on the ground, grab your mats, and do push-ups. For slow strength. Yeah, slow strength. So four counts now. You're welcome. Really? Push-ups. Slow strength, four sets, four counts down, four counts up. No, not push-ups. Yes, push-ups. To get them over with quickly. Bye, ladies. <laughs> Copy it. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here we go, ladies. Push-ups. Down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. You're trying to bring that chest down in between your hands, not your face down in between your hands. Elbows are slightly pointed back, not directly out to the side. And if we do this at that slow motion, you'll end up with eight or nine push-ups, which should be doable. Tuck that tailbone, squeeze those glutes. Keep breathing. Don't let the hips hit first, Lynn. Chest first. Keep those hips tucked, tailbone tucked under, belly in tight. Halfway there. Oh. Ooh, three more. Last one, three, two, and one. Take a rest. And we'll do that again, two times everything. Here we go, three, two, one. Tuck that tailbone, squeeze, nice down, two, three, four, up two, three, four. Oh, it's so much harder. Low. Halfway there. No. Two more times. Last one. Nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Ah. All right. Next one, we're going to stand up for our A and Patrick. It's going to be Arnold presses. So shoulder presses. Rotating the hands up and out, and then rotating them in as you come forward. Whew. We got 23 seconds. Take those arms out a little bit. What is that green that you're wearing? Jacket off. Get show you my real green colors. Oh my god. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Get those hands out from the body. Open and press up. Open and press. Keep your pelvic tilt, core tight. Good.
Last one. Three, two, and one. Take a rest. Ooh. Oh. And here we go again. Set two. Open. Up. Down. And front. Halfway, four more. Last one, up. And down, three, two, and one. All right, T's for triceps. Oh, oh guys, we're gonna do a tricep overhead. Did we do overhead already on Wednesday? I we did skull crushers. No, we did skull crushers, so we get to do the overheads. <clears throat> right after doing shoulders, oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Tricep extensions, up two, three, four, down two, three, four. Stretch those shoulders out a little bit. Ready to stay up there. <sighs> All right. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. Bend it down. This one, you want to make sure you have that pelvic tilt and your belly's nice and tight. Green socks on too. No, I do not. I do. Green and black. Yes. I got those at a Kevin's drawer. Who's your green? Ooh. On your hands. <laughs> on her hands? What's on your hands? <clears throat> green dumbbells. <laughs> oh. Get that pelvic Get tilt. Down. Ah, you got real green. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Last one. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Oh, Blaine Plate, Blaine St. Patrick for that. <laughs> oh, couldn't think of any other T's. So, yeah, <laughs> three, two, one, set two. Let's go. Thank you. We see you next week. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think I can keep this up. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good job. <laughs> yeah. One more time. Three, two, one, owie. Oh, thank God those are over.
Patrick, P A T R, reverse flies. And we're going to bend over, bend the elbows to the side, bring them out. Seriously, getting all the arms done first, and then we're going to do the legs. <laughs> Thank you. If you need to do one arm at a time, you can always do one arm at a time. Okay. Makes a huge difference, especially when your arms are tired already. <laughs> Ten seconds. Take a breather. Three, two, one, and lift up and down. Up slow. Down. Keep pulling the shoulders away from your ears, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. You can always bend the elbows a little bit more to make it a little easier. And then you always have the option to go one arm at a time. Good. Whew. Last one on the set. Three, two, and one. Whew. Take a rest. Shake like I am. <laughs> Three, two, one, set two. You can also do a split stance. That feels better on your back. It's hard to believe we're only doing nine of these. Feels like a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Three to go. Last one up and down. Woo, three, two, one. All right. Isometric biceps next for the eye and Patrick's. So one hand is going to stay still. That's the isometric contraction. It's holding it right in front. The other arm is going to move up and down. We'll do the right arm moving on the first set and the left arm moving on the second set. Grab a drink of water. Take some deep breaths. Five seconds, grab those dumbbells, get in position, left arm at waist level, curl it up, and down nice and slow. Up, abs are tight, keep that pelvic tilt, don't let the shoulder move.
Last two up. Three, two, and one. A little rest, and we'll go to that other side. This one might be a little bit harder since you had to hold that arm up. Three, two, one. Right arm out in front, left arm curl. Keep that isolation of the isometric dumbbell out in front of your belly button. Don't let it come up higher. Halfway. Two more. Three, two, and one. All right, our next one's going to be a heart save for the C and Patrick. So, you know, we're getting close. Two dumbbells, just going to hold them by your side. When you do these curtsy lunges, we're going to stay on the same foot the whole set. Make sure you step back and not just cross over to the side. You want to step back so that you can get down into the lunge in the back. Down two, three, four. Come up two, three, four. We're just going to tap the foot and go right back down on that same foot. Try to keep your chest up as high as you can. So we're trying not to lean forward too far. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, left foot back, lunge down into it. Come up and tap. Other, cross it back, same side. I like how my shirt matches the screen of the timer. <laughs> and it matches the benches. Yes. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Three, two, and one. Ooh. And we'll switch to the other leg. Three, two, and one. Press it back. Big step backwards. Drop it down. Up slow. Down. Four more. Woo. Last two.
Last one. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, our next one's going to be a kneel to stand, which is the same thing as a surrender, but I had to have a K. So <laughs> we're kneeling and standing. You can do dumbbells with this, or you can do them without dumbbells. If you are doing dumbbells, they don't have to be too heavy, like sevens, eights. We're going to stay on the same foot for this one, too. So we're going to kneel down with our right foot in front first. We're going to stand up, tap that left toe, and go right back down on the left foot. Bring the right foot down, do a lean back, and then come back up on the right foot. Up, tap, down, and kneel. So lean back, step back on the left, bring the right leg in, lean back. The right leg is going to come out to the front to lift you up. Your right foot's in front the whole, this whole time, or this whole set. Whoop. You wish we were back on the arms now? <laughs> Three, two, and one. Oh, all right, we'll do the opposite side this time. So left stays in the front and right goes to the back. Three, two, one, kneel down on that left, right leg. Left leg brings back, lean, and come back forward. Tap the right, left foot, go back down. Eee. Almost there. Two or three more, depending on your speed. Oh. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, we're into our S for Patrick's. We got our sit-ups next. So full body sit-up. You got three options with your arms. Easiest is hands out the front. They're going to help put that weight forward. Harder is hands across the chest. And the hardest is putting your hands behind the back, adding a little weight behind you as you crunch up. Again, four counts up, four counts down. Slow and controlled, rolling up and down the spine. You can always do an easier version on the way up and then a harder version on the way down too. So up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Pelvic tilt, reach the arms forward if you need to to get to the top. And then release them back. Uh. 
Keep breathing, nice, slow. Two more times. Three, two, and one. Stretch it out. And we'll finish this up. Three, two, one. Roll it up. Roll it down. Two more. Last one. Breathe up. And down. Three, two, and one. Your timer is now complete. Happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Unless you don't have green on. If you don't have green on, you got 10 burpees now. Uh -oh. <laughs> or you can do them anytime during the day <laughs> it's the honor system <laughs> oh stretch those arms out elongate through that rib cage open up stretch those abdominal muscles And then bring those feet up to the floor near your bum. And we're just going to do some spinal rotations. So drop the knees over to one side, keeping the feet on the floor, drop to the other side. Nice and slow. And then bring it back to the center. We'll pull the knees into the chest for a deeper lower back stretch. And rock side to side. And stretch those legs up to the ceiling. And we'll hold the right leg up, lower the left leg down. Hold that hamstring stretch and circle the ankle around. And the other way around. And relax that foot, pull the knee in a little closer. And then flex the toe again, make that stretch go a little deeper. Now you can bend that bottom knee and cross the top leg over for figure four. Push the knee out to the side. Pull both legs in. Grab a hold of the back of that bottom leg. And breathe into the hip.
And uncross those legs. Give it a shake. Bye, Cindy. And we'll go back up to the ceiling. Stretch it up. Hold the left leg up this time and lower the right leg down nice and slow. Hold that stretch for the hamstring. Circle the ankle around. Another way around. Relax that ankle, pull that leg in a little closer. And then flex the foot, take that stretch a little further into the calf, a little further into the hams. Bend that leg down, bring both knees into the chest, give them a squeeze, and then open the arms out to the side, drop the knees to the right figure side of the four. rib cage. Oh, figure four. Sorry about that. Come down, cross that left leg over the right. I'm avoiding it because that's my tight hip. <laughs> I need it the most here. Bye, Nancy. Have a <laughs> is that Penny? It is. I'm sorry. Uh, I was like, is that Penny or Dawn? I can't tell if it's a human or a dog. <laughs> Deep breaths. Oh, talking to myself here. My hip is really stretching. And now I'll release those knees back to the chest. And then open the arms to the side and drop them over to the right side of the rib cage. Look to the left. Let that lower back release. And we'll bring it back through the center. Give them a squeeze and then lower them over to the left side. Right hand out, look to the right. And then we're going to roll all the way over onto our hands and knees. Then we'll do a couple of cat cows to start out. Arching the back and rounding it down. No cat cats, just cat cows. Cat cat. Cat cat. Get. Beat it. <laughs> And then a nice neutral spine, open the knees apart, feet together, sit back onto your heels. Child's pose, stretch those arms out as far as you can to the front, let your forehead come down to the floor. Just try to relax the arms, let the hips sit down as low as they'll go. And we'll walk the hands over to the right side of the mat. Stretch that left hand over the right. Long side body stretch on that left side. Keep pushing the hips back.
And then walk over to the left side, right hand over the left, stretch it out. And walk back to the center, come back on those knees and hands, and we'll do a thread the needle, stretching out the back of the shoulder, reach the hand up to the ceiling, rotate the chest, tuck it under, thread the needle, shoulder on the floor. And you can bring that top arm around your back or over your head, whichever one feels best for you. And we'll take that top arm back down to the ground, lift yourself back up, do another reach to the ceiling, and then place that hand down, reach with the other arm up to the ceiling, rotate, tuck it under, drop down to that shoulder. Top arm is either out on that hand or up above your head or behind your back, actually. And bring that top arm back under your shoulder. Push yourself up. Open that chest again. And then bring it down. And just sit down onto your hip. And bring those feet out in front in a diamond position, like a butterfly, but further than your, further away from your body. Push those knees out. Press your back forward. Round your chin down. And lift it up, give them a little shake, and then we'll bring them all the way in. Full butterfly. Elbows on the knees, push those elbows out as you hold on to the ankles and stretch forward through the low back. Roll the chin down to the chest. Breathe into those hips and to that lower back. And then sit up, shake those legs out, crisscross the ankles. And we'll do our next stretches. Circle those shoulders up and around to the back. Press them down low and hold them there. Take the right ear to the shoulder, left hand down to the ground. A long stretch to the side neck. And then return that chin down to the armpit and stretch through the back of that neck on the right side or the left side. Hey, we're biting. <laughs> Not biting. Roll that chin down to the chest. Couple of deep breaths here in the center. Let those shoulders relax down. Let that chin relax down. And we'll lift that head up. Inhale. And take it over to the left side. Right ear to the left ear to the shoulder. 
Take it to the left with your right ear. That's interesting. <laughs> right hand down to the floor, pushing down so that shoulder's pressing down to the back. And then turn that chin down to the armpit, tuck it in. And then one more time, chin down to the chest, both hands to the knees, a couple of deep breaths, trying to release the remaining stress in the shoulders, the spine, hips, neck. And we'll inhale to bring our head back to neutral. Exhale, drop those shoulders. And give yourselves a big hand. Yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day. Thank Go you find your pot of gold. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to lift it if I could find it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, come on. Not, not today, but you'll have it Bye -bye. for tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye.